Sergeant Tony DeLucia from the Mass State Police. This evening at about 5.45, the Somerville Police received a 911 call stating that a man had been shot inside a two-family home on Ware Street. Upon arrival, which was within moments, the police observed another man outside that residence with a handgun. At the direction of the police, the man placed that gun on the ground and he was placed under arrest. When police entered that home, they located the victim, identified as Robert Favreau, age 22, of Cambridge. Mr. Favreau was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Despite the fact that first aid was rendered on scene, Mr. Favreau was ultimately pronounced dead inside of the house. The subsequent investigation to this point, which is obviously a very short time, reveals that the man that was encountered by the police outside, identified as Edson Marino, age 26 of Somerville, was a resident of that home at Ware Street, and that the victim had been staying with Mr. Marino inside that house for several months. Tonight, the victim and Mr. Marino allegedly got into a verbal altercation that escalated to the point where the defendant ultimately shot the victim. Edson Marino has been charged with armed assault with intent to murder, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon causing serious bodily injury, and possession of a firearm. He'll be arraigned tomorrow morning at Somerville District Court. This is clearly an open and ongoing investigation, and additional charges are expected. We'll turn it over to the mayor at this point. And good evening. Thank you, District Attorney Ryan. Um, first, I want to send our heartfelt condolences and thoughts to the family and friends of Mr. Favreau for this tragic loss. Uh, second, I want to thank the Somerville Police Department for their swift action to bring the suspect under arrest. As long as their efforts align with other first responders, the Somerville Fire Department and can tell the ambulance for all their efforts to try to save Mr. Favreau's life. As the uh, district attorney has mentioned, this is an ongoing case, but I want to assure the residents of that neighborhood, the people of Somerville, you are safe. Uh, we will continue to be vigilant. We have resources in that throughout the whole community and intensified in that area. Uh, the DA's office and the state police are now on this case intensely. I do want to thank the Somerville Police Department. we will hear from Chief Femino shortly for their swift action again. And any information, as always, we encourage you to submit that. You can do it confidentially to the Somerville Police Department, the District Attorney's Office, or the State Police. Again, to the people of Somerville, thank you for all your assistance thus far. Any further assistance, we would ask you for that. But rest assured, you're in a safe community. We will continue to deploy resources, as we do often, and intensify those resources so you feel comfortable safe in your neighborhood. Again, this is an ongoing case, and the District Attorney's Office and State Police will do a good job following for a minute. So thank you very much for your cooperation. I'm going to hand it off to Chief Femino. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening. I'd like to first reiterate what the Mayor's comments were and offering my condolences to the Favreau family. Uh, as you heard, the victim and assailant in this incident are known to each other. Uh, we don't believe uh, that uh, there'll be other incidents of this nature uh, in that area. However, I would caution uh, the residents of that area that if they do see anything suspicious to immediately notify the Somerville Police Department at 617-625-1212 or call 911. Thank you. We'll be happy to take a few questions. According to the 911 call, there's a woman in the closet calling and detailing to officers what was going on. How instrumental was she in helping officers kind of understand what was happening once they got there? Well, as you know from the 911 call, the more information that officers have upon responding, the better prepared they are both to respond to victims of any incident and obviously to ensure their own safety. She was able to give them a fairly detailed account. Officers were clearly prepared, had already had emergency personnel dispatched to provide assistance immediately to Mr. Favreau, and expected and knew that there was a gun at the scene, so were prepared when they arrived and saw that defendant allegedly with a handgun outside. At this point, we will obviously await the results of the autopsy and med was a report from the medical examiner. So is that a possibility? Yes. I did, as I indicated, I expect there will be additional charges. Yeah, the 16-year-old typically injured in Somerville last week. It was about two weeks in May. Are you worried about an uptick in violence here? 
obviously we are that is something that I think everyone is concerned about, especially as we head into the summer. And clearly we are always looking at various incidents to see if there are patterns and connections. So yes, that's a piece of He was instructed by the officers to put down the gun. As my understanding is after one or two times of the officers telling him that, he did in fact do that. And he was then secured by the officers. Anybody else? Any idea um, how long the victim had been staying at that apartment? We understand it was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of six to eight weeks at and this point. Have you learned at all what went up to this shooting? There was some altercation, some verbal argument that escalated is what we know at this point.